Hey guys, today we're going to be putting on some bar end mirrors from Arrow, they're CRG, and I got these from Rottweiler Performance Center. One of them already installed, and I'm going to show you how I installed it, but this is what it looks like from both ends stalled. That's looking from the center. There's a front view. Very nice. Side view. Very nice. And that's pretty much what you're gonna see. These things are really cool. They flip all different ways. Inside, outside. This comes out like that. If you want them to be out a little bit further. And again, you can flip this around, flip it up like that. Flip it any way you want it. There's, there's like a halfway point there. And they still look good, and I've used this one, and it's pretty functional, and the glass is really high quality. So that being said, right here and on the other side, it's it's like convex. It's They're not flat, so when you're drilling these, it's not a flat surface. I used a little piece of rubber as a shim here. These are kind of made for KTMs, and the KTM ones, I know because I have a KTM, but these are flat on the KTM and it's much easier. So you're gonna have to use a little shim or something in there. I used a little piece of rubber and it works fine, you can't even tell. Start to install the second one and we'll see how it goes. Again guys, these aren't KTM stock guards, they're a little bit different. The KTMs come out straight. So what I did was I lined this up. See, there's that's the end of your bar right here. So I line that up perfectly and then I come straight down and see these two little holes? Those are the ones they want you to screw. What I did was I took a, a little pointy tool, a little sharp little piece of metal, and I made two dots. I don't know if you can see them, but one's there and one's there. And they line up perfectly with the distance of these. Let's go ahead and start to drill these. They're all marked out for me. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with a smaller drill than I actually need. To be very careful and be careful not to hit your brake lever too. That would be tragic. So they're in the hole. Okay, there's one. And here is two. Okay, that's not bad. Okay, so take a look at this. That's a pretty good start. I can tell you from experience that there's a teeny bit of wiggle room. Don't panic if you're a 32nd of a millimeter off. It's, it's not gonna make a difference. I'm gonna go ahead and switch the drill bit. What they want you to use is a quarter inch hole, six millimeter. The quarter inch drill they want me to use. Pretty simple stuff. And I just wanted to show you the pointy tool. This is the pointy tool I made just to make my little indent holes here. Okay, not bad, not too shabby. Let me put this drill down. You can see the holes. They look pretty good there. Didn't hit my brake lever, so that's always good. All right, guys, so this is what we're gonna do. We're just gonna give it a test run and see how close we are. That one's perfect. And let's see, all right, not too bad. Perfect alignment. I wanted to mention one thing about these hand guards. 2021 Husky, you're gonna need larger screws. This is the original screw that came with it. If you use these original screws, it's just barely gonna catch one or two threads and that's no good. Local hardware store, no problem. Just bring this piece in with you. Try them out and you'll find them. I'm gonna go ahead and screw these in, put the mirror in and see how it looks. Before I screw these in, which I know they're lined up perfectly, and this is optional, but these things are not inexpensive. I choose to use thread lock, just a teeny bit of it. It makes me feel better. Like I said, these mirrors are not cheap. And you know, I'd really regret it if they vibrated off going down the road and fell off. 
I don't want to have to replace them. It's finger tight. Now I'll do the other one. Put a little bit of a Threadlock 243 blue. Get it close. This is the rubber shim I was talking about, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and loosen this up and put this on. And this is a three millimeter Allen key wrench. It just fits in there to loosen it up. And all you're gonna do, slip it right over this, like so. Piece of cake. And then I'm gonna try to get the same angle, which I already know works well, which is kind of like that. Tighten it up. There you go, guys. Quality of glass is superior. Also, I just want to show you real quickly. These are where the old mirrors work. And they give you these little black caps, which I think is a nice touch. And they just simply pop in like that. And there you go. You don't notice them anymore. That's the front view. Looks pretty cool. Low profile, functional, legal. That's what they look like in the pilot's position. Real nice. I'll take them out, give them a test run, guys, and let you know how they worked out. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video.